Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Um, today's a funny one because I'm not actually going to be doing any cooking. You'll know from the title. I'm making my own mincemeat. First time, first time. Uh, and like a lot of things in this, on this channel, a lot of them, a lot of the things I've made have been for the first time, which is brilliant. One of the factors I've really loved about the channel. Now I really wanted to try and make my own mince pies and I thought, well, I need to make my own mincemeat. Um, uh, something that I have never done before. Uh, so I've got all the all the ingredients ready. It did say in the it's a traditional mincemeat recipe I found, and I know there must be lots of variations. I bet I bet I'd be I'd be interested to know what your variations are. Um, but this one is this variation. <laughs> uh, it did say that it, it should try and make it two weeks ahead and we've got exactly 15 days. It's probably be, by the time you've watched this, it'd be 14 days before the Christmas day. I hope you're all ready. <laughs> uh, we're not. <laughs> but yeah, it. so I, what I probably will do is use this a week after it's been soak, soaking in the fridge because it can... It can you need to really keep it for two weeks before you use it in a mince pie or whatever. Um, but it, and the other thing I really liked about it is it can keep up to in the fridge for up to six months. I think that's obviously because of the brandy that's in it. Um, so, you know, you, you, for next year, I think I might make this a little bit earlier. Still, it's still within, I mean, a week and a half, I reckon... I can give it, I can let it sit in the in the fridge for a week and a half. But never mind that. Let's come and have a look at the ingredients. So it does look like a lot, um, and this actually will make around two kilograms of mincemeat, which is quite extraordinary. There will be a cost breakdown at the end, and uh, the recipe will float up here, as well as be in the pinned in the comments. Um, you've got your currants, your raisins, your apple, your brown dark brown sugar, shredded suet, suet. <laughs> Uh, candied mixed peel. Most of the ingredients are actually from Lidl, um, except for the candied peel, mixed peel. I had to get that from my local budgins. Um, but yeah, it'll all be priced up. It'd be interesting to see how much two kilograms of mincemeat costs. And I might try and find, um, get a sort of rough, compar get a comparison of shop-bought mincemeat. So what I'm going to be doing firstly is soaking the, the raisins and currants with the brandy and the lemon juice for an hour. That's the first task. And then it's simply a matter of draining off that liquid to keep setting the liquid aside because we will be using that again. And then mixing all the ingredients in a big larger bowl. And then literally sticking in the fridge. I do have some containers that are sealed uh, for it to sort of airtight containers, sterilized, etc. etc. So these, um, the, yeah, this is great. I'm really looking forward to this and it smells absolutely beautiful, really does. Uh, Christmassy, so Christmassy, it's absolutely lovely. So let's crack on, get these fruits um, soaking and and then I'll be, we'll be back after that to mix everything together. See you in a bit. So I'm just gonna add the raisins. I don't know if this bowl, this bowl might be too big. Let's have a look. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. No, fantastic. I'll just mix them. So just add the brandy. And then add the lemon juice. Yeah, just let that sit for an hour. I've got a cover for it uh, and we will be back in a tick so it's just been over an hour uh, I'm going to transfer this to this bowl to get the liquid out as much as much liquid as possible I will be using it again but and then transferring the liquid into the little cup before we then add it later I'll just set that aside and um, get this back in and then start adding everything else. So let's see what for, for sugar. I'm going to add the sugar, add the lemon zest, add the nutmeg, 
add the candied peel, add the shredded suet, suet add the apple. Well, I'm just going to mix everything before I add the brandy and le lemon juice mix, yeah, liquid. Gorgeous. Add the brandy, lemon juice, etc. but that's what the recipe said 100 ml of brandy and half a lemon juice uh, or juice of half of juice of one lemon so I guess after it sort of soaks I can see it actually looking a bit beginning to coat so I suppose over the next 10 days um, or two weeks ideally uh, it will start to really soak up that brandy lemon juice mixture Right, so I'm going to now put these in my containers. I did buy some from Poundland. Um, these are sort of those seal containers. Technically, it should be jars, but I won't be long before I'll be using them. And I sterilised these. So, and it did say in the recipe, the best way to sterilise is uh, stick it in a hot, hottest setting in the dishwasher. Uh, if you don't have a dishwasher, just on a very hot bowl of hot, very hot water. Just say press down It's at 1.4 litres, £1.25 these cost from Poundland, which is pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the fridge. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird, no taste test. <laughs> right, <laughs> so really happy with this. Um, I've, first time I've ever made them and it's really easy and I have brandy in the house because I'm feeding my Christmas cakes which is really handy um, and I, I only bought a half a bottle and it seems to be doing the job for the, both the Christmas cake and this um, I'm really pleased this is so easy I will the cost breakdown I'm curious as to how much this cost it does make two key two, two, two kilograms worth of mincemeat that's that's amazing um, and so I will compare it to the shop port jars that you might get in any, um, well, in my case, it will be Lidl, but I will try and sort of seek out how much it costs in other places. You're going to get your deluxe versions, which should be comparable to this. So yeah, anyway, no taste test, which is a bit weird because I'm kind of programmed to have a taste test. That's what I like, <laughs> the perks. Um, but I will be making mince pies, uh, in, a, in about just about two weeks time before Christmas just just it's it's I don't know we're not ready but we'll ho, ho, let me know if you are <laughs> are you because I, I have a few people friends who are they, you know they were ready months ago <laughs> that's, that's shocking to me I mean I'm we're always last minute hussies 
um, but it's all fun and um, I'll see you on the next one. Take care everybody. Bye. afternoon it's 10 o'clock in the morning mm. uh, start again start again <laughs> hello everyone oh my god I'm forgetting my own intro hi everyone <laughs> okay